Have you ever wondered how a marvel like an aeroplane with multiple complex components manages to push itself out of the clutches of gravity and fly high in the sky? Thrust is the component of the forces that allows an aircraft to propel itself forward and find stability in the sky. But how do we know which motor to use in such a case to generate thrust and to what extent our plane can work at a high capacity? For the same, we make some calculations in the domain of static thrust. Calculations of static thrust are needed in order to ensure that the proper propellers and motors have been selected. Static thrust is defined as the amount of thrust produced by a propeller which is located stationary to the earth. In our code, we first choose a particular propeller to test, say the 1047 where diameter is 10 mm and pitch is 47 mm. We then refer to the data sheet to find the prop constant and the power factor and the revolutions per minute are found from the data sheet of the motor. Next, we take another propeller to compare, let's say the 1038. Upon applying the formulae, we can plot a graph using the plot command and add a title with the X and Y labels. As a result, we can see that our first propeller choice gives a better thrust and hence is more effective. We encourage you to carry out similar tests on your own and have attached some data sheets of motors and propellers for reference in the description box. Thank you for watching MATLAB Helper. Do like, comment and subscribe for more content.